Hi, I'm Charlotte and I'm going to teach you a meditative drawing technique. I'm um, going to have a go at drawing some kind of falling leaves. Um, I have drawn a, rep a repetitive pattern, but you could try something where they're a bit more clustered together. Um, and I'm going to show you some examples at the end of the video of some other artists' work. Um, I am a big fan of kind of repetitive drawing. I find it is very calming. It still improves hand-eye coordination and also improves grip as well. So let's see how we make it, shall we? So we're gonna start with by drawing out our pattern. I've decided to go for a repeating pattern, uh, but you could go for something where you have more of a mass that spreads out and fills the page. Uh, it's up to you. I'll put some examples up at the end of this video so you can have a look at some other inspiration. So, as I said, I'm just going to draw a repeating pattern. I've done my leaves uh, quite slender but there's nothing to stop sort of doing a larger kind of shape or a m mixture of larger and smaller. I've done one too high, I think. There we go. So I've done one slight row slightly out, but not to matter. I'm sure I can fix it as I'm colouring it in. Okay, so then next we're going to add some different uh, drawing materials to it. So that could be coloured pens, sharpies. You could also use things like drawing pens and biros as well. I'm going to have a go at adding some colour to mine. You want first to outline your shape, including the centre line down the middle. And then you want to decide what direction you want the leaves to be travelling almost in. And I'm going to go with down, so one side from the middle to the edge, just draw a line slightly curving down. And you want to do that all the way through the leaf. You can experiment with having slightly bigger gaps or pushing them closer together. And then you get to the other side, you want to come again from the middle to the edge, curving just slightly down again, away from the other line. And you can match them perfectly with another line, or you can take them out of sync, it's up to you. So you wanna fill the rest of your pattern with colour, you can use pen, uh, college pencil, or as I said, some biro. So let's see how I get on with that. So this is here 
and is where I mentioned it had gone a bit kind of off it hadn't repeated exactly and um, so I can either rub it out and redraw it or I can do something where I just trust my instincts pick up a pen so let's try it in orange and kind of have a go at sort of balancing it back out so that would go more down to there would be more there down the middle and let's do the yellow on the top I will potentially still need to rub out those lines um, but I feel a bit more confident in my own ability now just to I'm going to change the pattern slightly and um, it's always brave drawing straight in pen and um, so it's always kind of worth pushing yourself um, to have a go so I'm just going to quickly finish this off and then I'll show you the final piece so there it is finished my repeating pattern and um, as I said earlier you could do something more clustered and I'll put some examples up in just a second um, if you quite enjoyed this process you could potentially add a second layer so you might want to get a drawing pen or a pencil or another kind of marker pen um, again a biro so if you're working in biro you could change from black to blue or another colour um, and you just repeat the process again so following the lines not necessarily outlining each line but just kind of making an additional layer an extra mark on top of it And again, you could make these match perfectly, or you can kind of have them going at their own kind of rhythm and kind of even spacing as well. So this is also another one where you could play with how tight each line is, or if you want a bit further. So I'm going to add a bit more detail on top of this one. Shall we see how we get on? So here is uh, my final image, um, don't feel like you have to add a second layer, I just thought mine um, needed something extra, you could experiment with just doing single layer, two layers, or even push it to three, why not? Um, so I'm going to leave you with a close up of this, and as promised a couple of other examples that will hopefully get you inspired. So thanks for watching, bye!